Hello everybody, Mr. Odom here, and today we are going to look at a problem from chapter 3, section 3.3. So um, it's a word problem, which is good. We need to practice solving word problems. And so we'll get started. You'll need your pencil, composition book or notebook paper as always to take notes, and you might need a calculator for this one. The learning target for this video is I can use equations to solve problems. All right, so let's see what's important. The temperature of dry ice is, so here's the temperature of dry ice. That's what its temperature is. Um, here's an important word in um, word problems like this. It says this. This is referring to that temperature of dry ice. Okay, so this is, um, and when I see the word is, I should think of equals, this is 184.9 degrees Fahrenheit less than the outside temperature. Okay, so if the outside temperature is 52 degrees, then this temperature of dry ice would be 184, would be 52 minus 184. So um, that would, that's kind of how I would think about this problem. Um, the outside temperature, we actually don't know what it is. So I'm going to use a variable. This outside temperature, I'm going to use the variable X to represent that. Um, and then the problem says, what is this outside temperature? Okay, what is it? So we that's telling us, hey, people, figure out what X is. All right, so let's write down an equation. So I know what the temperature of dry ice is. It's negative. 109.3 degrees Fahrenheit, um, and that equals what? Um, it equals whatever the temperature is outside, I just subtract 184.9 degrees from that. Because this sentence says this is, so this temperature, the temperature of dry ice is 184.9 degrees less than the outside temperature. I have an equation, I can solve it. I go ahead and add 184.9 to this side because it will cancel out with this negative 184.9. They cancel each other out. And I have to add 184.9 here because the addition property of equality says that I have to or if I want to keep this equation equal. All right. So then in my calculator, I can go ahead and figure out what the answer is. And so I'm going to do that right now while I'm talking to you. Hopefully I put the numbers in my calculator correctly. And I do. I get 75. 0.6. All right. So it says, what is the outside temperature? So really, I need to make sure I include the units here. So the answer is going to be X equals 75.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. So that is the answer to this problem. Um, and notice how we set up an equation to help us to solve this. All right. All right. That's all I got for this um, video. Hopefully everybody's doing well. I'll see you soon. Um, you guys are really awesome. Um, and I really enjoyed being your math teacher. All right. I'm out. I'm gone. Bye.